Hey guys, in this video we're going to start and run this uh, small gas turbine engine and we're going to attempt to regulate and control its speed using this proportional solenoid valve. So what we have here is a small auxiliary power unit made by the Garrett Corporation of America. It's known as a GTP 30-67 and it was originally used as a generator set and there is another version known as the GTP 30-92 was fitted to some Hawker uh, 125 um, aircraft. Sometimes these uh, small engines are also known as uh, micro turbines or micro gas turbines. So have a quick closer look at it. It's all built into this frame with a control panel for easy operation. It's a very nice little example of a small gas turbine engine. It's a single shaft unit. Uh, it features a uh, centrifugal compressor, a radial inflow turbine and a uh, can combustor there. Um, it's very easy to run. It has uh, electric start. Um, it has a uh, fully uh, integrated hydromechanical fuel system and uh, a few other features. Uh, there is the uh, igniter unit there. The igniter plug is there. That's the uh, uh, burner at the uh, top of the um, combustion chamber. We can just see inside and hopefully see the uh, turbine wheel in there. It's also fitted with a alternator or generator. There it is. We're not using it in this video to produce any power, although I am using that alternator to provide a speed signal to feed some electronics. The uh, proportional valve that we fitted to the engine is of course a modification. So what we're in fact doing is uh, taking a feed of the engine fuel system and we're bypassing some of the fuel that would be supplied to the burner. We're bypassing, bypassing that and feeding it back to the uh, fuel tank under electronic uh, control, which you'll uh, see a little bit later. But there it is, very nice little single shaft gas turbine. It's rated at 40 horsepower and it spins at maximum speed of 52,000 RPM. Okay, so here we have an electronic control unit which is going to be used to regulate the uh, speed of that uh, small gas turbine engine. So this unit is uh, built in the style of a PID controller, that's proportional integral and differential controller. Um, and if you look under there, there's a whole bunch of uh, electronics. And we can see there is the uh, proportional valve uh, connected to the control unit and I'm currently feeding it with a speed signal so I can simulate the uh, operation of the uh, the engine connected to the control unit. So this is built in the style of a PID control loop system but it's actually um, uh, been simplified so there is no integral uh, term there is only uh, a proportional and uh, differential uh, control uh, term so uh, here are the uh, controls this knob here is the uh, datum or set point so this is uh, what is used to set the demand of the speed of the engine the speed at which you wish the engine to uh, be controlled to uh, this central meter, that is basically showing the current that is being fed to the proportional valve. So the valve is a uh, normally closed valve. So when that meter is at 100%, the valve is fully open 
and when the meter is at zero the valve is fully closed and it should be remembered the valve is bypassing fuel from the uh, engine system so as the valve opens the engine slows and as the valve closes the engine speeds up uh, there is a rpm gauge and an electronic uh, tachometer indicator which again is calibrated in uh, percent and uh, currently the uh, the speed signal fed to the unit is equivalent to the engine spinning at 70% uh, of uh, max RPM. Um, and a number of other controls. So here is the uh, proportional gain control for the uh, control loop. And this knob here is the uh, differential gain. Um, they're both set to zero um, currently, but there is at, when they are set to zero, the um, uh, loop gain is still sufficient to uh, fully open and close the valve. Otherwise, uh, a sufficiently large error signal would not be developed and the valve wouldn't uh, fully open. Uh, a time constant for the differential term is also adjustable there. And what I've also done is added this switch here. This switch inverts the differential term. So the correct uh, negative uh, feedback term is uh, in operation with the switch up, but uh, flicking the switch down will actually create a uh, positive feedback, but that was used to explore the operation of the unit uh, when connected to the engine. Uh, as you'll see, this unit doesn't uh, perhaps behave quite as uh, imagined. So I'll leave that position in the upper uh, state and you can hear the uh, valve, I think you can hear, the valve is fed with a um, uh, pulse width modulated signal um, which is also arranged to be at a uh, frequency um, that allows the valve to uh, resonate uh, which helps uh, prevent uh, stiction um, and uh, uh, it aids in a smoother uh, proportional control of the valve. The valve has a 24 um, volt uh, coil and it's marked the direction of flow there on the uh, valve casing. So that valve essentially has um, a small orifice inside which varies in size and the flow of fuel through it varies as that valve uh, opens and closes under electronic uh, control. So I can just show that in operation. So with the a differential term at zero, if I increase the speed of the engine, the valve opens and if I decrease the speed of the engine the valve closes and if I set the engine back to 70% the valve is um, approximately halfway open and the same thing if I move the uh, datum to increase the engine speed the valve closes and if I adjust the datum to a lower speed the engine uh, or the valve uh, opens into in order to slow the engine down. So if I increase the uh, proportional gain that now increases the sensitivity of the system and so the uh, valve moves more quickly as I change the datum. And if I introduce some proportional uh, feedback you'll now see that as I turn the valve the uh, the meter responds quickly um, and it, you can almost see it overshoot as you have um, a, a, a feedback uh, signal there being applied um, to the signal to, to, to act as a damping, uh, damping factor to that uh, signal. Uh, one other thing I should mention, the uh, data control here is operating on a ramp circuit so it cannot instantaneously change the uh, the, the uh, datum. So if I put the datum to full, you'll see the meter moving slowly. That is in fact a ramp circuit built into the datum. And if I slam the datum closed, you'll see that it uh, ramps up again um, at a defined rate. That is to uh, prevent uh, any instantaneous changes in engine speed, which might uh, promote instability. So there we are, a whole bunch of electronics to uh, hopefully um, regulate the speed of that small gas turbine 
um, to a speed below its maximum operating speed, i.e. in this case um, between about 70 and 100% um, RPM. It should be noted that uh, many small gas turbines are actually developed and designed to run at a single speed, usually at just maximum speed. Um, but uh, it's uh, an interesting exercise to see whether we can uh, make this engine run um, at a slower speed in a uh, stable and uh, predictable way. So there we are. There's a whole bunch of electronics there. Um, let's see uh, how it works on the, uh, on the engine.
Okay, so there we are. That's a test of a small gas turbine with an external electronic uh, speed control. Basically, uh, the uh, system was working, but it does have some shortcomings. The um, control, uh, the, uh, the gain of the, uh, the system appears to be close to the point where it begins to oscillate and uh, hunt. Um, but we had basic uh, control of engine speed uh, dictated by the, uh, the set point. Um, uh, by increasing the uh, proportional gain, there was uh, beginning the onset of oscillation and hunting and uh, turning up the uh, differential uh, gain or damping uh, uh, term uh, failed to uh, cancel the, uh, the oscillation. Uh, switching the, uh, or rather inverting the uh, differential term um, uh, doesn't work either, although that's uh, to be, uh, to be uh, expected. Uh, so that just shows the, uh, the dynamics of uh, controlling a small gas turbine with a PID style uh, control system is, uh, is quite, uh, quite complex. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. Uh, check out more videos um, at the YouTube channel and also for further details of this, uh, this engine and similar engines, uh, go to uh, gasturbineworld.co.uk. Thanks for watching.